In this lecture, I'll explain you the risks involved in investing in a bonds. When you purchase a bond, you are prone to three types of risks. One is interest rate risk and the second one is default risk or credit risk and the third one is foreign exchange risk. Now first we look at the interest rate risk. The basic feature of the bond is it is a long term contract between the borrower and the lender and on this bond the borrower will pay fixed amount of coupon or coupon rate. That means suppose if you purchased a corporate bond and which pays you a 6% uh, per annum as a coupon rate. That means throughout the duration of your bond, let us say this bond is for a 10 years. So for the next 10 years, you will be paid only the 6% rate of interest. However, in the market, the interest rates may fluctuate. That means the interest may rate may increase or the interest rate may decrease. Suppose after you purchasing the 6% bond, then the interest rate increases to 8%. Then you are at risk because you earn only 6% whereas the prevailing market rate is 8%. So this is uh, one risk involved in a, investing in a bonds. And second one is the default risk. That means the default may happen in payments of interest amount or in payment of a principal amount or both. When you lend a money to a corporate, so the corporate certain times if they don't make any revenue or they incur a losses, then they may default in making a payment of your interest and principal amount. And the third risk that involved is a foreign exchange rate risk. That is exchange rate means if when you invest in a bond, in a foreign bonds, then you are paid interest in foreign currency. And when you convert your foreign currency into a local currency, then uh, based on the prevailing exchange rate, sometimes you may get a higher amount or sometimes you may get a lower amount. Assuming that you invested in a 10% coupon, a US dollar bond and you receive a coupon amount in dollars. Suppose the par value of the bond is a thousand and a 10%, that is you receive a hundred dollars as a coupon amount. Now, if your prevailing exchange rate is 65, then you convert that hundred dollars into 65, you will get a 6,500 in Indian currency. If the rupee strengthens and becomes a 60, then the hundred dollars into 60, now you will get only 6,000 rupees. That means the exchange, the influence of exchange rate, when a rupee strengthens, you will face a, or you will receive lesser uh, amount in domestic currency. And when a rupee weakens, you will receive more amount in a domestic currency. So this is a exchange rate risk. Now we will link these risks to uh, each classification of a bond. Take an example of a treasury bond. So treasury bonds as they are issued by the central government or a federal governments, the probability of a default risk and foreign rate risk is zero. Whereas these bonds may attract interest rate risk because interest rates may fluctuate and uh, the bond which you purchase it may be at a lesser coupon rate in future. So that is a uh, interest rate risk is there for a treasury bond. On the other hand, for municipal bonds, it attracts both interest rate risk as well as a default risk because there are scenarios where local bodies or state governments defaulted on the payment of interest amount or a principal amount. So these bonds, unless otherwise issued in a foreign country, they don't attract a exchange rate risk. And the third is a corporate bond. Corporate bonds also attract interest rate risk and a default risk or a credit rate risk. If they are issued in a domestic country, no exchange rate risk. Finally, foreign bonds. Foreign bonds are bonds issued in a foreign country by governments and corporates. So foreign bonds attract all the three types of risks that is interest rate risk, default risk and foreign exchange rate risk. So this is how we can uh, relate the three different types of risk with four classifications of a bonds. Thank you.